Look, Alan. So we found this mall that looks really cool. Um, it's like a house. Um, and I saw it because of a Facebook ad or something, and it specifically had barbers in it. So let's see what we find. Look at this. It says it has a huge downstairs. Oh, is there a basement? Whoa. We only have 45 minutes because we were eating IHOP. He's wearing a shirt, bro. <laughs> Look at him crawling up there. There's skeletons. Hi, yeah, all of a sudden. Barbies. I see Barbies. Thank you. And there's more Barbies downstairs. It's a Francie. Cute. Yeah, she is down. Cute. Yeah. Going upstairs. It's like actually just a house, by the way, guys. Oh, I love this. I love old houses. Brett's. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a saddle in there. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is. Toy Story Mechanic? Oh. Oh my god, Julie, Oh my god, how much is that, please? Ah, uh, they Googled it. Dang it. Ah. Uh, that is so cool to see, though. Look at that. I almost missed that. Wow, and I love this sort of thing. 120. I think that's still better than eBay, but it's... It's because Princess and the Popper is, like, all inflated because everybody decided that's the best Barbie movie when it's not. It's 12 Dancing Princesses. You guys, we found a Barbie room. Barbie room. Oh. Australian. That's not... <laughs> and oh we didn't have a problem with Dutch we know where they're from Denmark was where we were struggling a lot and then we saw that one at um, Dallas while we were there and look at this she's on like a cool how does this work is this I don't know interesting and then we have peach blossom radiant in red Satin Nights. Oh, this one we see at um, stores quite often. These ones um, at Antique Mall specifically. And then look, this is the box for Faye. She came in like a big, crazy. Oh, like a tube thing. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Interesting. Gotcha. And then Italian. What? Do I not know what Italians I dress like? I don't agree with that either. I don't know. I don't well, know. maybe I just. But don't I'm know. just not Italian. I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe I just. Don't um, know. And then there's some. Over here. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Look at this one. It's like a really interesting dress. Royal invitation. All right, we found Barbara's, but none that I'm collecting. Oh. Oh, you really spotted her. She's glamorous. Is there, what's on the left? Can you see it? Clothes? Oh, oh, is it her extra clothes maybe? Interesting. All right, we're good. Look, Alan. 35? Oh, that's mine. If that's really... Oh my gosh. Oh, and I see these at so many antique malls for some reason. I do too. They must be really popular. They're really cute. Well, clearly nobody's buying them now, but they're like really cute. They are cute, and I like the little animal. I've never seen them. Look at animal. the Kellys. Who's back there? Oh, oh she's really pretty. Who are you? Look at this gal. Wow. This is... Oh, who is she? Skipper. I really like her outfit. I didn't think it was Skipper because the outfit. It was cute. Huh. Wow. The prices are really good, unless I'm Cindy? mistaken. Oh, there's a bunch down here. I didn't even see them. <gasps> We're bad. Oh my gosh. It was a Cindy. That's cool. See, Cindy is the um, European name. Apparently, she had a different name here. Really? Yeah, but I've already forgotten. <laughs> oh, who is she? Look at her. Oh, she cute. If that's actually her outfit, she's mine. I mean, maybe even if it's not, because that's really cute. Look at that. Oh, like a little Western. The opera gloves. Oh, she cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, little rose. Brett was saying the last um, the last booth we find is going to be the... Oh, there's some behind you, too. Hello. Did I not say yeah, you really did. Look at all these Barbies, baby. Oh, there's somebody in here, too. Oh, there's dolls behind me. I didn't even see them. Wow. This skipper is really cute because she has, like, a skipper dress. Oh, my gosh. I'm really being bothered by the fact that my main pointing finger has Sharpie on it from work. Oh, she killing it. I like that booth on hairstyle. Wow. 
She these could. are so cute. 15? No, these are bad. No, all the prices are really, really, really fair, and I'm kind of sh like shook. Look at this one. She's like a colonel. Oh my god, that is so good. Watch that be another Coca-Cola one, I swear to god. Equestrian. <laughs> okay, good. Because we saw one earlier, and we were like, oh, this looks like this, and then it was Coca-Cola again. Yeah, that one I'm probably gonna so get. So pretty. I don't even think this is her outfit. I think this person was a collector who, like, dressed them cute. You think? So look at this she's got one. a ribbon around her neck. I don't know. Look at that one. That one's cute, too. Oh, I like her eye color. She's, she's like, friend. really cute. Yeah, these wow. are cute. Oh, look, Mary had a little lamb. Oh, and she even has her lamb. Which ones do you like, Fred? Oh, oh she cute. She got freckles. See, oh. so that's not her outfit. I know that. Well, 100%. Oh, like maybe not. Oh, yeah, tiger that's what you've chosen? No, but there's actually more dolls behind us. Well, that we didn't no yeah, I know. I can't behind. even. Oh, she. This is so cute. How cute. No, I know. You brought the doll collectors in. Look at this. Ooh. Her face. We party. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Oh. Is that the, it's a girl, like, usually like a new baby McDonald's sort of thing? Toys. No, she's just in a case. Yeah, those are the McDonald's Beanie Babies. But there's other stuff in here, too. Oh, should I? They're all McDonald's. Look through it. Look at her. Look her face. <gasps> Purdy. Wow. I'm gonna be Google lensing some of these. Oh, she <laughs> See, so that is Fashion Fever, I know, and that's not her outfit. You're right, but like, that dress that is doll. stunning. Yeah, she's so pretty. God, but I actually really want that doll with her outfit. If that's not the one I have, I think it might be. She had a white dress with purple. If that's the one I have, if not, that's one I don't have. <laughs> Cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I want Alan. He's like in perfect condition. If this is actually, oh my god, they do what I do. <laughs> when I'm so. Like, wedge them? Yes, I do the same thing. Is he actually the vintage one? Can you tell? I don't know how to tell. He looks so perfect. I think this is a reproduction. I think, I say, I I think they're joshing us. Because the, the face is too good. Look at this. <laughs> I, I I genuinely want that little 409 cleaner so bad. I love it. And the Easy Off. I have a chemical burn from Easy Off. I still, it, it won't go away. It's been years. Um, we're, I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm shameful. <laughs> but I'm having fun. Because I'm Google lensing to see, like, is this the doll that goes to this? But most of them are fashion. So this person, like, picked out specific dolls. Like, the special perfect, oh my god, her face. Oh, she has 2002. I bet. <gasps> Oh, this is bad. <laughs> but the prices are so good. Look. Like. <laughs> Can't resist. Yeah. Our first stop today, but probably not the first stop you'll see in the video, is Second in Charles. And Nicole's here. Yay! Let's go. You guys! Oh, what did somebody buy? Which one? I don't know. Wow, I kind of want these. I really love them. Brett, they have Super Mario 3 perler beads. <laughs> oh, I'm really tempted actually. What's the price though? $14.99? I have to see what they um, go for online too. Um, look at these little Snappets mermaids. These are cute. Where did this come from? Look at the little oh, mermaids. I haven't seen these at all yet. Because they're not in like regular stores. They are by me. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll show you. They're so good. They're so good. I really want the redacted one that was at Toy Fair that we weren't allowed to show yet. I really want that one. And where do you get the big, st like the, the tube set? They're so cute. Oh, I made a noise. <laughs> I, I've been looking for these, but I just haven't found them anywhere cotton candy because spike and ember are like the special ones i think wow i've literally never seen these in stores before what is pinky promise jemmy friends have you heard of these i have not and she's the blind bag queen over there they have them in like regular boxes too oh really I've never heard of them are they new they look kind of old oh look see they do have vintage stuff too but we'll get there Never heard of it. It's by something called Tiger Head. They look exactly like Shopkins. Shopkins. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Were you a big Shopkins person? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My little sister loved them. Oh. Super tall. Look how cute she is. Is the price good? Fifteen. Okay, she's mine. Yeah, she's that cute. jean, like Ooh, that's cute. denim. Yeah, mine. But see, this is if you've never been to Second and Charles, you guys, they are a secondhand store, but they also stock new stuff. So this stuff was. 
like sold to them by somebody. Okay, what's behind Holiday Visions? Because I'm seeing purple. <gasps> what? Oh, she purred. I've never seen that. 2003 Collector's Edition. Pretty. And Barbie biking fun. It's just a bike. <laughs> and then... Draculaura's there. <laughs> I guess that's all their vintage right now. But um, this is coming home with me. And I'm thinking about the purple doll. I'm not sure yet. She's really cute. There was one from like, I think 2000 that I saw at the antique mall for way too much money. That was red and awesome. But this, I really like her. And purple's an unusual dress color, I feel like. And like, look at the beading. Okay, I'll get You're it. You're like, I'm I'll convincing <laughs> Hi friends, now it's time for the haul. So as you can see, Queen Beans Collectibles, my friend Nicole had driven down here on a little road trip for her spring break and hung out with us all weekend. And it was super, super fun. So huge shout out to her. I know she was just kind of slight cameos in this video, but it's because this was originally going to be one thrift video of all the thrifting that we did, but we found too much stuff, an overwhelming amount of stuff. So <laughs> I decided to parse it out into multiple videos. So this is the first of those videos that I'm actually filming, but I think right now they're separated into three different videos, but we'll see how it actually ends up for you guys. It might end up just being two. I don't know. But I have a haul from two different stores as well as a haul from, I think like over a month ago. But the reason I'm including it in this video is because I think it's pertinent for this video. And the video that I included it in before was at the very end of a My Weekend Dolls video that was kind of specifically about My Little Pony and Little's Pet Shop. So my Barbie friends would have missed it. So anyway, <laughs> let me show you what I got. So the first two things in chronological order, not necessarily how you guys saw it, um, were these. So actually, I think the first store we ended up stopping at was a Second in Charles store. And I was actually telling Nicole that we never find anything at that store anymore like the first time I went and the second time I found a bunch of stuff and it was awesome and then never again never again but we got really lucky this time so this is super talk Barbie and I had to get her I thought her outfit was so adorable she looks to be um late or sorry uh early 90s but I don't know 95 okay so mid 90s and I wonder if she still talks no but she would if I put a battery in I'm sure but I'm I just couldn't. Her outfit was so cute. And she was only $15. And it says here that was uh, February 27th that she got put on the shelf. So it was a, like half a month later when I had gone. Because I think it was like March 13th or something. It was a few weeks ago from the time that you're seeing this video. And then this doll I picked up. She is Barbie 2003. Just collector's edition. Maybe like a New Year's doll or something. Barbie doll 2003 brings the wish that beauty, joy, and harmony will follow you throughout each and every day of this year and she's never even been unsealed sorry <laughs> she's getting unsealed at some point and this doll was $25 flat and I picked her up because something about her was just so pretty I really like this purple color scheme I really like her blonde hair and I just think both of these dolls will like look really really good on display and they're both really special I feel like both of them have really unique outfits going on I just think she's super super pretty especially among the other dolls from this particular era they're not necessarily my favorite all the time so Ronaldo chose to join us today hi hi <laughs> um the like early 90s mid 90s Barbie dolls aren't always my favorites so I was really excited to see one that I thought was absolutely gorgeous and I had no reservations about grabbing her and I think her price was really really good too I have no idea but what her like going rate is on ebay right now or anything but a new unbox doll from 1995 ish for $15 was like yeah that is a done deal for me that is a great price and even like $25 for a collector collector was basically just playline like there were better playline dolls than them sorry Ronaldo is now bumping my tripod which is one of his signature give me attention moves <laughs> okay so that's those moving on we have the dolls that I got at that antique mall so that was the one that I immediately pointed at Alan on the way in and I said he's mine or something to that effect and I'm just gonna spoil it for you now I did not end up getting him and my reasoning was that I just found so many other dolls that I bought and like I just thought he was not 
an original one and I actually would not mind having a reproduction for the price like $35 was a great deal I don't know what I was thinking honestly um apparently he probably was real I mean you guys can be the judge because I don't know uh but I didn't check for a made in Japan thing I didn't really think about it but now I will always know to look for that in particular because duh uh, but anyway here's the stuff that I got this was actually a really really good price for all of the stuff that I got all things considered especially uh, most of these are just random dolls wearing fashion packs okay but I loved them I thought they were so divine and the right person dressing dolls and fashions and stuff just makes it look like a stock doll and I kept like google lensing for these dolls just thinking like this has to be a legit barbie release and it was always a fashion pack um but yeah and they did have these little plastic boxes that they were in and just so you know I specifically told the antique mall person I was like I will not be keeping these I want nothing to do with these do you want them because I'd rather they be reused and she was like oh absolutely yeah because I know they're kind of expensive too to buy those things so anyway I got this doll I don't remember what they were I google lensed it like two or three weeks ago uh but if you know feel free to stunt your Barbie knowledge in the comments so this one I do remember was wearing a fashion pack and I was worried her hair was cut even though it's cut perfectly but no this was her actual uh look and isn't she so cute I really love these denim outfits like we've got some denim girlies here this one's got the silver accents and this one's got the gold um but yeah she's just really pretty she has like hazel eyes it's green with brown borders on it so I assume that's what they were going for and this reddish hair she's just really pretty um that's one of them <laughs> and then there were actually several of this doll and I'm pretty sure this was not her outfit and there was another one not wearing her outfit either so I think the seller just was like this is a stunning Barbie and they weren't wrong look at her so she's just wearing this absolutely beautiful blue spring dress and I just loved it oh I just realized it's even longer it was folded a little bit and I do have the other shoes and stuff they're just in the bag <laughs> but look at the flower embroidery I just thought this was such a pretty dress such a such a cute doll and I mean are you kidding me with that face gorgeous gorgeous doll I love the little tiny sleeves too very very pretty again that is not the doll that came in that outfit or I think the outfit's a fashion pack I think they all are um except this one this was an actual release I think she's I think she's actually like this one. Was she 2001? Hold on, her necklace is turned around. 2002, there we go. So we're bringing them back together and I'm gonna need to look further into this line because uh, both of them are amazing. And I'm, I'm desperate to see if there's variants now that I think about it because, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And this one just had a really unique face and all of these Barbies were like $10 each. It was really cool. You saw in the clip, I'm sure, um, but yeah so so nice so pretty and I love marabou feathers and these are like the more expensive like nice marabou feathers and I know that because I was making a costume and I bought this type of marabou because I was just like oh that's even prettier than the one I would normally use and then um my total I did buy a lot to be fair but it ended up being like $40 and I was completely gobsmacked um so I'm impressed to see it on this doll and there's also some long feathers down here just really really pretty doll and just look at the way that moves in the wind. It's the wind. It's wind to her. She's so little. Um, absolutely beautiful. And I love her cropped hair too. I don't know if that's the actual length. It probably is. Uh, but it's just so pretty. Oh, <laughs> we're losing feathers everywhere. Yeah, if you see feathers floating around, her fault. <laughs> anyway, okay, this next one, oh, I just had to. I just had to. Look how cute this dress is. And her shoe fell off in the bag as well she's got this beautiful red hair with blue eyes and i just love the little gloves and the choker and see my little fashion pack girlies her hair is so soft and pretty too i love her i wonder if she had like a off to the side little ponytail or something because it looks like maybe a rubber band rotted or something yeah there's a rubber band there so her hair must have been like that stunning 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 this is very early 2000s outfit i don't know if that's when this is actually from this is definitely what this reminds me of okay and then this doll okay we've got a hairbrush that goes to somebody this is byron lars oh i know that designer name uh this is the byron lars like collector designer barbie and once again that really cool expensive marabou trim that is so pretty absolutely beautiful face on this doll i love the red tones um in like this burgundy color and i'm not normally a gold person you guys know that i generally prefer silver but i love 
the gold in this outfit and the reds and purples all mixed together and look how cool the hairstyle is this is an amazing doll she was a little more expensive she was like 35 i think all the price tags are off because they like to keep the price tags because that like proves that it, it's a thing flea markets will sometimes do um or antique malls i should say indoor flea malls there's all sorts of words for it um she even has a little ring on this finger like i am so excited to get this doll out of the box and i i had looked her up because i wanted to make sure if the price was good and she was like about that price on ebay which is so interesting because all the other dolls in the booth were priced so low like under what i would think they would go for on ebay so that one just happened to be right at ebay but i think this collector was clearly like an out-of-box collector like i am so um and when i sell my dolls which i very rarely do do not ask um but in the past when i've sold them i've always sold them well under what they go for on ebay because that's what i would like to pay anyway okay we have another short-haired girly in this really cool like flower outfit and she also has earrings which leads me to believe this is actually like the doll that goes in this outfit but honestly i don't know uh, but definitely reminds me of flowers and one of her shoes fell off and the other one is not on right now they're in the bag <laughs> they've been in that bag for a couple weeks now and i've been so excited to do this video and look at her hair by the way it looks like she's got like a bump in it i love it and i love the short hairstyle too so cute and i don't know i feel like there's just not a lot of short haired barbies so getting a hold of them is fun um like i have very few in my collection but now i have a few more which is very very nice and um she has some yellowing to her body which i actually know how to fix it's just gonna be it'll be like relatively expensive and difficult to set it up but once it's set up i can use it forever so maybe someday i'll show you what i'm talking about with that okay this next doll pretty obvious that i ended up getting her if you know me um this is the 60s brunette skipper and i'm not a big fan of the original skipper dolls i just they don't really do anything for me so you've seen me always leave her behind when i see her at like antique malls and stuff but this one is brunette i'm pretty sure she is rerouted just because the hair is a lot fuller than these dolls normally are and it feels a lot softer generally the dolls from this era whatever hair fiber they used is very like you can tell like you can immediately tell um but i don't think that this is a reproduction skipper either I guess I can find out. Let's use our Japan trick. Not that they can't just... Oh, I don't think she has any kind of markings on her. But anyway, you guys can let me know in your expert opinion. What do you think? I don't mind if she's a reproduction. I think she's absolutely adorable. And I think the price was pretty good. And I mean, her lip paint is um, kind of rubbed. So I would think she's an original one. But anyway, um, this outfit was the reason. Like, I could not leave her behind. Oh my god. It's so pretty, and it is an original Skipper fashion, I think. <laughs> Sorry if I'm wrong. Again, I'm I'm very not in the know about 60s and 70s Barbies in general. I'm currently getting into them. Uh, but with Skipper, I haven't even, like, looked into her yet, but this was just one of the most beautiful fashions I've ever seen, so I had to have it. And it did have a Skipper tag in there, didn't it? Yeah, so it has this old Skipper tag inside which is pretty cool. It's a Skipper by Mattel Inc. And yeah, so cute. Really, really pretty. And she does have her shoes as well. They're in the bag. Like I keep saying, the bag is just full of shoes. So I'm going to dump the bag now. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of shoes. And this last doll, I didn't show myself getting her. In fact, I showed myself specifically passing her up. And the seller saw how many Barbies I bought and was like, oh, like, I've been sitting on this doll forever, like, what price uh, would make you, like, bite? And I was like, I don't know, I want her, but I just bought all these other dolls, and I've bought some other stuff today, and I'm planning to go to a lot more stores today, so, like, I don't know. Um, anyway, the seller, oh, I just kind of, whoop, whoop, whoop. The, the seller, she was listed at, like, 90, and that was marked down from, I think, 120. The seller gave her to me for 70. I don't know if that's an amazing deal or anything. I checked what she sells for online and it seemed like fair and I like her so anyway this is Francie and unfortunately though this I think is a real Francie fashion I don't like it I think it's officially called like a grandma dress or something that's what it was coming up as when I was searching for it I don't like it it's not for me um 
you know, <laughs> there's really, really cool fancy fashions. This is not one of them for me. Um, no hate if you do like it. I, I think it's cute, but the thing that bothers me about it is I like the white lace. I like the color scheme and even like the length of the dress, like everything works, but this black ribbon throws the whole thing off. It makes it look weird and homemade, but in a bad way. I don't know. Um, she does have her head a different color from her body, but that's pretty normal for these dolls, so that's not a big deal to me. Um, and look how cute she is. She has super long eyelashes. Her eyelashes, if she looks a little sad, her eyelashes are, like, really downturned right now, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get those up again. And her hair is in super, super good condition, and it feels more like the original hair fiber. I mean, this skipper might just be, like, the most immaculate skipper ever, and that's just how this hair is, because, look, it's just, like... Look, that's my hair color right there. Um, but yeah. So, uh, Francie does need a cleaning. She's got some, like, powder on her face, like, dust from many years' worth. Oh, yeah, so she was 95. And she also came with these outfits. And I don't think the... Or this outfit. I don't think this swimsuit is hers. Like, I don't think it's a Francie fashion. I don't remember what it was. It might be, actually. Um, now this is cute. It's this really cute swimsuit. And I really like it. I can't wait to see what it looks like on because the shape of it looks super cute. And again, I, I really like the green color schemes. Like, I think they're really beautiful, but um, that outfit's not for me. But this one is. This is gorgeous. I don't really want to just display a doll in a swimsuit unless it's her original swimsuit, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, there's so many good fashions from the period that I'm just like, why would I ever have you dressed in a swimsuit or your original outfit or something? And then we've got, I believe uh, the seller said these were also original shoes for Francie or Barbie, but I don't remember. Um, and it came with this one pink shoe, which, you know, maybe someday I'll find another one. It's like slightly see-through. It's really cute. I like the little buckle. It's like a, like a pioneer special going on with the shoe. It's cute. So that is the stuff that I got at the, um, that weird antique mall that was in like a cabin that... I was so devastated because I've been thinking about this antique mall for months because um, I had been like, I just randomly stumbled upon it on Facebook, I think. And I was like, oh, because it's in our route, but we had never stopped at it before. So because it had opened up after we moved here, but it's been open for like a year or more. So we just never updated our route clearly. So I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, a new one for our route. And I found that one room with some Barbies, but there was nothing for me, so I was so disappointed. And there was nothing for Nicole, there was nothing for Brett, so I was like, dang it, I wasted our time. And then we got to that last room. It was, I'm not kidding, the last one we went to, and it's so funny too, because it was like directly on the path that we should have gone on, but I like to like take a very strategic path, I don't know. Um, so we kind of went to the opposite side, it was a U shape. So we went to the opposite side, went all the way around, and then went to that room, and I saw that Alan, and I was like, and it was a whole cute closet of Barbies, like. That was so cool, and that is contributing to my Barbie collection. Now, this next one, not a lot of you guys noticed, and if you did, you didn't say anything, and if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you might have seen that I posted a short video about it, or again, if you watched the, um, the end of that random Weekend Dolls video, you'll have seen it. So this is a little surprise, and if you want to see the footage of this, I will include a link in the description so you can see the the video where the footage is because I deleted it off my phone because I was like, eh, I already included a video, whatever. But then I found these Barbies and I was like, oh, finally a video that this makes sense in. So first I'm going to show you the Barbie cases. So these are from an antique mall that I don't really go to that often, but it's from the video where I found those $5 holiday Barbies. And because I had already picked all of those out, I was... I kind of just blasered over the rest of it because I was on cloud nine already. So from this booth that I found these and this other thing at, I picked up the um, Clara from the Nutcracker doll. And I was so excited about that when I moved on. Somebody commented about something and I'll tell you more about that later. And I went back. So anyway, when I went back, I saw these Barbie cases and in the video, I did not check the Barbie cases. And this time I did. And I'm glad I did because we have Barbie fashions. And I'm specifically looking for 80s and 90s Barbie fashions right now. Any Barbie fashions from before the 2000s. I mean, any Barbie fashions, honestly, but specifically this era because I have a lot of nude dolls from this era. Um, so here's a cutie. She actually has knee articulation, which is unusual. Please let me know if you recognize her. She has crimped hair, which I love. And she has her cute little earrings with the posts. Adorable. They might not be her earrings. And she has got this absolutely wretched jacket but that 
it's the time. <laughs> and then these shorts. The outfit, I love. It's cute in like in like a sad, like a haunting way a little bit. This was the last time this doll was played with, you know? And she was put in this case and in a garage or something for years. And then she's made her way to me. So she'll be getting a nice restoration. And um, yeah, so she was hiding in that case. And then we have this cute little crown comb. We have this pink dress, which is pretty cute. Pretty cute. We have, oh my god, is this a skirt? Oh, I was all excited for this to be a dress. I think this is a maxi skirt. I mean, depending on if we have the top that goes to this or not, or whatever, like that is extremely cute. Then we have this really cute little purse with little see-through pockets. Is this like a picture pocket? Oh, what? I don't know. Cute. This dress. I know nothing. <laughs> this very 80s <laughs> jacket. Watch it be from the 90s. And then, ooh, this is very cute. Little orange skirt. I hope that these go together because that'd be awesome if I have both pieces. Regardless, this is so cute. So, so cute. Oh, I have this from my childhood. I think it goes to Kelly. And then we have these pants, which never got fully, you know, inside it right side outed um this is that skirt from earlier it fell <laughs> we have this stool which looks newer than the other stuff it almost feels like this person's childhood dolls got mixed in with their child's childhood dolls or something because there were 2000s era ones and 80s ones but i don't know if those are 80s ones i'm sorry if i'm wrong a big old hanger from fisher price so some big doll probably little backpack it's a school fun it's probably for Kelly. There's a little purse. Hair brushes. These are so good. I recommend always that you use a metal bristled brush on your dolls, but these actually really work well for de detangling. A little magnifying glass. Little hat, which is very familiar to me. I think I've had this before. Um, that thing will get to the last. This uh, very weird textured shirt. It's like carpet. A crown. A bucket hat a comb and this is very cute so this is by bluebird so i assume it's poly pocket and check this out how do you open it i actually have not opened this yet oh okay so there's no little polys in here but look it's it's very much a my little pony like bordering on copyright infringement there um and i'm not just saying that but like something about the specific look is very g1 my little pony um but there's like a little rocking chair and there's these little pegs to put your poly in and there's a little barrel that opens up with water in it. This is cute. This is cute. And I've never had, if this is one, an original Polly Pocket before. So that's kind of cool. And then we also have this thing. Origin products. Well, what even are these? Go here. Oh, well, I don't know what Origin is, but this almost reminds me of those um, rubbery Polly Pockets from when I was a kid. And again, these are from, like, the 2000s. So what are these things? And then you just have this. And there was a little chair in there. So some kind of little doll set. It's cute. And, yeah, 2001. Interesting. I have no idea. Okay, those little things fell off. Well, let me know if you recognize that, please. So that's Barbie case number one. And there was a second Barbie case that, again, was filled with stuff. I kind of just didn't check them because normally they're empty, but they were not empty. So this one had a bunch of dolls in it. So this doll I do have. She is a, like, babysitting doll. I mean, she's on display. I just don't remember her name. Um, and she has a cute little pink dress on. It's very see-through. I don't know if you guys can see it, but in, from my perspective, you can see her legs right through there. And she has crimped hair, so obviously I love her. And then we have this doll who looks very... 80s to me very tan and then oh she's cute a bunch of her hair has come out though um i like her little side bang she is interesting and what does this outfit go to it is certainly not hers but i appreciate i applaud the effort it's cute it's cute and then we have this thing from taiko it says taiko preschool and then there's actually like little containers like for the doll on this side in that interesting oh and there's bars for the hangers over there too cool and then up the time so these are all in a ziploc bag we have 
I know this doll. I know this doll. I don't remember off the top of my head. Ooh, I hope we have the doll that'd be convenient. And then really interesting, like a hair tie and then some kind of like overskirt thing. I really cannot visualize what outfit that would go to. And then this fascinating uh, print shirt here is probably for a Ken. <laughs> uh, very interesting one. Then we have, oh wow. This hat with like little geometric animal shapes. This little bristlet thing. Brush. I don't think that's going to be the only one in here. We have a really funny green jacket. Some khakis. We got a lot of Ken stuff in here, I think. This little animal print number. The acid wash, of course. Okay, this. So this is definitely not Barbie. What are these? So this goes over this, I guess, as like a middle piece. Oh, it's horrendous. Oh, I don't like it. I'm sorry. No, that is not it. I don't mm, No. Um, one of those Kelly chairs again. Cute see-through backpack. This. I think it goes to some kind of mermaid Barbie. I have one of these that I've thrifted before. Little purse. Pants. <laughs> Not for me. Visor. Brush. Interesting shape to the bristles. Hanger. Mm. Art teacher skirt. And another hanger. So... Those are my Barbies from the Barbie case. And I actually did get more dolls that were associated with this booth and probably these cases, hopefully. Um, they were in that other video that I'll link below so that you have the context. Um, the one where I got all the holiday Barbies. So I was like, I won. I'm on cloud nine. I got these holiday Barbies. So those holiday Barbies were an absolutely amazing find. Really, really cool. A grail in there. And all of those dolls are absolutely beautiful and I love them. But those were not my best find that day, and I had no idea until I posted the video. And one of you guys, only one actually, commented saying, you casually walked past one of the rarest Barbies. And I was like, no. Um, and they had timestamped it, I think. And I was like, what are you talking about? And they, they mentioned which one it was and said that they had seen it in one of those like Watch Mojo type of videos that's like, what are the rarest Barbies that you don't even know that you have? And sure enough, yeah, that was the doll in the video. I went to the, that store on a Saturday. I uploaded the video on a Sunday night. So the antique mall is open every single day except Monday, I believe. So there was a whole business day that the store was open, but my video wasn't up yet. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't think there's anybody remotely near where I live and they would have, I mean, I had to drive quite far to that <laughs> antique mall in particular, so. They were closed on Monday, so I'm sitting at work just, like, all day just thinking about this doll. Like, if it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. I literally pointed my camera at her and said, mm, not for me. Because I'm not specifically collecting 80s Barbies right now. I could tell at a glance she was an 80s Barbie, so I was just like, whatever. Because I don't have a lot of extra clothes for 80s Barbies. I don't have a lot of 80s Barbies in general to display, so I feel like she would be alone for a while, you know? So I was sitting there like, to me, I was like, I just got all these 2000s Barbies. That's kind of my era. Whatever. So I said, mm, not for me. And then I moved on. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> long story short, Tuesday, I get up bright and early. And I drive there so I can be there the minute they open. I go in. I beeline straight for the booth. I film the moment. Doll is still there. I run up thinking... I didn't check the price that day, you know, and you couldn't see it in the video either. You could see a little tag that said, like, rare, I think, in the video. So I was sitting there like, I don't know what the tag's gonna say. I flipped the tag over. It's not still in here, I don't think. But it said, very rare, Pink Jubilee Barbie. $25. So, this is Pink Jubilee Barbie, and... If you don't know this doll, because I certainly didn't, I never even heard of her, she is indeed one of the rarest Barbies ever made. Now, of course, there's one of a kind Barbies, but among Barbies that are like realistic to ever get your hands on, this is indeed one of the rarer ones. Now, of course, there's plenty <laughs> that are just this limited or more limited or have a higher demand, stuff like that. But this is a very, very cool doll attached to a really cool moment in history. So here she is. And like being honest with me, she 
like be honest with me she does not stand out that much from other 80s barbies right uh the thing that i find her cool for and the reason i was so attached and like hoping when i went back i would get her um when i posted that tiktok i guess i didn't make it clear because people were all like congrats you just made all this money i'm not selling her not selling her um but for the interest of full disclosure this doll can sell for like 600 to a thousand dollars depending on condition mine is clearly played with or at least displayed um but her dress is still perfect thankfully because this is the type of material that does rub really bad um but anyway she doesn't like stand out too much for her era um but she is pink jubilee barbie so she was a special doll for the pink jubilee celebration and look at this the the coolest part is that it comes with a napkin from this event so this was an event and interestingly i live in alabama right now unfortunately <laughs> and this event was held in new york it was invite only i have not found any context on this event other than that it was invite only so if you know anything about this event like who was invited why what the deal is please let me know because i just really want to like try to connect how this doll got to alabama was it an event specifically for Barbie collectors? Because uh, what I learned from the Antique Mall was that this doll was acquired in some kind of an estate sale. So maybe it was an online thing. I doubt it because they said that seller just goes to estate sales in the area. So that doll was probably in Alabama. And maybe someone just happened to live in New York and had moved here. I don't know. Um, but if it was an invite only event for like Barbie collectors, you would think that booth would have had a lot more Barbies going on. Who knows? Um, but anyway, this special limited edition limited edition barbie is one of 1200 that we have created to commemorate the pink jubilee celebration february 13th 1989 lincoln center new york and i need to check the date that i had actually went to that antique mall because i think it was actually decently close to that date so that's kind of funny um she does have her stand which says pink jubilee barbie limited edition 1989 she has her hairbrush she's got i don't know whatever that is some tape She's got this how to release hair piece of paper, which is adorable. Has a really cute drawing. She's got the original like thing that held her in the box, like her hair in place. I think this fell in there earlier. This is her hairbrush. And then, I mean, all of the packaging stuff. And then this is the bow that was around the box. And it really seems like the seller or like the original owner just kind of opened the box and threw everything back in or something. Or maybe she was on display for a while, but it just, it really seems like she just popped open and I really did much with it after that, but it's just so wild. Um, and this is the box, Pink Jubilee, 30 Magical Years. So, yeah. The only context I really have, what does that say? Rhinestones made in Hong Kong. Um, oh, shoes, earrings, and rhinestones made in Hong Kong. Um, so, yeah, this is a really, really cool piece of, like, Barbie history. I'm very uh, lucky that that commenter noticed the doll so that I was able to go back and get her. I am very grateful. I'm very excited to have this doll. I think she's super cool. Um, I'm not the like biggest Barbie 80s person, but what a way to kick off the collection. And this was fate telling me. The fact that that doll was still there, that's fate telling me, stop skipping the 80s, stop ignoring them. And she's super adorable. I can't wait to restore her hair. I feel like she's going to look so magical when I uh, get that hair tamed. I'm going to be very careful, just kind of kind just gonna condition it a little bit. It's Kanekalon, so you have to be very careful brushing it. Look at those rhinestone earrings, by the way. They're actually like little rhinestones in facets. And she's also got a rhinestone on her ring. And there's her shoes, by the way. Just a really, oh look, the pink lining. That's kind of cool. Um, Just a really cool doll. And you guys know, I love doll history and archiving doll history so much that I started, like I founded an entire website and pay for the hosting of this entire website all about doll archival, dollect. So this sort of doll, like, well, again, I don't believe that she is the most special looking um, 80s Barbie. She probably is the most special 80s Barbie in terms of her history. And I think she's so cool. And I just think it's so interesting that she made her way to Alabama where I could get a hold of her. And for $25, I just can't believe it because the seller clearly saw this and was like, oh, rare doll. And then for $25, I just, I don't know. I, when I first saw the 25, I thought it said 250 and I had literally texted my mom that day because I was telling her all about this. Um, like before I went, I texted her like anything under 250, I'll take it like 250 or under, I'll take it. And it ended up being 25, but I thought it was going to say 250. So, or more, you know, maybe a thousand, but yeah, very, very cool 
wild find. I actually don't know if I've ever seen the napkin. I looked, I was scouring the internet to see if I could see any contacts on this event and I can't find anything that's not already on the box. I even found like newspaper stuff about this event and it just said invite only event to commemorate Barbie's 30th anniversary. Like who was invited? Why? I found some pictures, but it was mostly like corporate people. Who got these dolls? Anyway, super, super cool. And uh, this is sweet too. I, this is at the flea market and they kind of know me at this point, especially because I had just been there two days before. So they were like, what's going on? What brought you back? The dolls, yes. But like, I explained to them, you know, I came back because um, I had, I do YouTube videos when I'm in here and I had posted the video and someone in my comments noticed a really cool Barbie. So I came back to come get her. And um, I was telling them about the little event and stuff and they were like, oh my God, that's so cool. And that's when I had asked like, who is this seller? Like, where did they get this? And they said, oh, she just goes to random antique mall or um, random estate sales. And anyway, the seller before I left was like, hold on a second. And she went to go get something from this like glass case that I never look in because it's a bunch of like random stuff, mostly like Alabama memorabilia, jewelry type stuff. I'm not interested. Um, but she went over there and grabbed something and gave it to me. And she's like, you're a Barbie girl. I need you to have this. It says limited edition 35th anniversary Mattel 1994 Barbie festival. And someone told me that this was at Disney, um, Disney World, I think. So much closer to Alabama. Uh, but anyway, it's a cute little pin from this Barbie festival. Look how cute. I love that. And that is so sweet that the seller was like, oh, you like Barbies? Oh, it's got like this really cool thing to keep it like propped up. Oh, that is so cute. Isn't this fun? And that was so thoughtful. Like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, like how much for it? I dropped it. Uh, but it was marked at $25, by the way. But I was like, oh, how much? And she's like, oh, I've had that thing for so long. You can have it. Like, it deserves to go home to you. And she, she was even saying like, just like this doll, because I had said, like, I was so scared someone else was going to come get the doll because I posted a video publicly on the internet with this, like, really cool piece of Barbie history in it. And yeah, so she was just like, well, this one's yours as well. You're a Barbie girl. So yes, now I'm an 80s Barbie girl as well. You guys know that I recently decided to start really looking into and collecting the 60s and 70s, and I was still kind of avoiding the 80s and the early 90s because I was like, I've got a lot on my plate like let's let's try to focus we'll we'll keep things like very focused because i like to focus in on certain areas i opportunistically collect when i'm thrifting always but i try to focus in on certain areas sometimes because i'm trying to you know keep the pool of what i'm searching for lower so like when i'm shopping online and stuff but you know and i do antique malls too because i find really cool 80s 90s 2000s barbies all the time um, for decent prices, but I'm not gonna get every single one I see every single time, you know, so I try to like Mitigate it. I don't know. I just let them speak to me that day and somehow this doll did not speak to me I didn't even look her way really. I just glanced at her. It was like mm, whatever So yeah, that's the perilous tale of how I got um, one of the rarer Barbies <laughs> um, Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Let me know if you've had any cool thrift finds I don't think I'll ever be able to beat this one, but who knows? I'm, I'm gunning for finding a prototype thrifting. It's happened before, not to me, uh, but it's happened before. I've heard stories, so me next, please. That'll have to be in California or Rhode Island or like Chicago or something where all the toy companies used to be, um, but I'm waiting. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.